Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of coins. Today we're talking about something truly special, the top four gold $1 dollar coins. These coins might be small, but they pack a punch in terms of value and history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, stick around because you won't want to miss the full details on these rare beauties. 2000p Sakawe dollar. The Sakawe dollar was introduced in the year 2000 to replace the Susan B. Anthony dollar, which had been in circulation since 1979. The U.S. Mint wanted a coin that was easily distinguishable from the quarter, and they succeeded with the Sakawe design. The Sakawea coin honors Sakawea, the Shoshan woman who helped guide the Lewis and Clark expedition through the western United States in the early 1800s. Her role as an interpreter and guide was crucial to the success of their journey. The design on the obverse or front of the coin features a profile of Sakawea carrying her infant son, Jean Baptiste, created by artist Glenna Goodacre. The reverse side of the coin was initially designed by Thomas D. Rogers and depicts a soaring bald eagle, a powerful symbol of American freedom. In later years, the reverse design would change as part of the Native American $1 coin program, but the 2000 P still bears the original eagle design. Now, let's talk about the P mint mark you'll see on this coin. The 2000 P Sagagawe dollar was minted in Philadelphia, hence the P mint mark. In that first year of production, over 767 million of these coins were struck, making it one of the most common Sakagawe dollars in circulation. Although the coin was released into circulation, there was some public backlash because it didn't gain widespread use despite the mint's efforts to promote it. The golden color and smooth edges were supposed to set it apart, but it was often confused with the quarter, much like the previous Susan B. Anthony dollar. So what about the value? If you have a 2000 piece Sakagawe dollar, you might be wondering if it's worth more than its face value. Well, let's break it down. Because of its high mintage, most 2000 piece Sakagawe dollars that have been in circulation are worth about face value just one dollar. However, there are a few factors that can increase the coin's value. Condition. Uncirculated coins in pristine condition, especially those that have been professionally graded as MS Mint State 65 or higher, can fetch between $2 to $6. The better the condition, the higher the value. One particularly valuable version of the 2000 piece Sakawe dollar is the Cheerios dollar. In early 2000, the U.S. Mint partnered with General Mills to promote the new dollar by including them in Cheerios boxes. These coins have a slightly different reverse design with enhanced eagle feathers. A Cheerios dollar can sell for thousands of dollars depending on its condition. Proof versions of the Sakawe dollar, which were specially minted for collectors, can also hold a premium. These coins are made with a higher level of detail and have a mirror-like finish. A 2000p proof Sakawe dollar in its original packaging can sell for around $10 to $15. The 1789177910 George Washington. Let's clear up a common misconception. If you're searching for a 1789 George Washington quarter, you're actually looking for a coin from the Washington State Quarter series that references key dates in U.S. history. The quarter we're discussing is often confused with other commemorative coins because of the date range 1789-1779, which refers to George Washington's lifetime and his significant contributions to the founding of the United States. Washington was born in 1732 and became the first president of the United States in 1789. However, the quarter itself was minted as part of the U.S. Mint State Quarters program, which ran from 1,999 to 2008. On the obverse, we have the familiar image of George Washington, which has graced the U.S. quarter since 1932, designed by sculptor John Flanagan. The reverse side of this particular quarter might feature designs unique to different U.S. states, each chosen to reflect their history, landmarks, and culture. While the dates 17891779 may not be an official marker of a specific coin, collectors often refer to Washington quarters by these dates when referring to commemorative or bicentennial editions that mark important moments in Washington's life. Now let's talk value. The value of a George Washington State quarter can vary greatly depending on a few key factors. Condition or grade coins that are in mint or uncirculated condition are always worth more than worn circulated coins. Mint state coins graded MS60 and above can fetch higher prices mint mark look for the mint mark on the obverse side near washington's ponytail quarters were minted at different locations p for philadelphia d for denver and s for san francisco proof coins from san francisco tend to be more valuable uh, error coins some quarters have minting errors like doubling misprints or off-center strikes which can significantly increase their value to collectors historical significance while standard circulated washington state quarters may only be worth 25 cents some specific quarters from the series particularly rare or error coins can be worth several dollars sometimes even more Certain George Washington quarters have sold for hundreds, even thousands of dollars at auction, especially those in pristine condition or with unique mint errors. For instance, a state quarter with a significant error, such as an off-center strike, could fetch anywhere between $50 and $500 or more. Proof versions of these quarters, especially those struck in silver, can also command higher prices among collectors. 1825-1829 John Quincy Adams 
portrait of John Quincy Adams, scenes from the early 1800s, including a map of the United States and key political moments during his presidency. John Quincy Adams, the sixth president of the United States, served from 1825 to 1829. Known for his intellect and strong stance on abolition, Adams played a crucial role in shaping early American policies, including foreign relations and infrastructure development. While this coin wasn't minted during his presidency, it was created to honor his legacy as part of the presidential $1 coin program, which began in 2007. John Quincy Adams, 6th U.S. President, 1825 to 1829. Oh, this gold dollar features Adams as a tribute to his service and dedication to the nation. While it's not a historical coin from the early 19th century, it carries with it the weight of that era's history, especially in terms of America's growth and expansion. Let's take a closer look at the coin's design. On the obverse or front, you'll find a portrait of John Quincy Adams designed by sculptor Don Everhart. The inscriptions around the portrait include his name, the years of his presidency, and the phrase, In God We Trust. Portrait John Quincy Adams. In God We Trust. Presidency 1825 to 1829. The reverse side features the Statue of Liberty, which is standard across the presidential $1 coin series, along with the denomination of United States of America $1. Reverse Statue of Liberty, United States of America $1. These coins are part of a larger collection of $1 coins that honor each U.S. president, making them an essential part of a collector's presidential coin series. Now let's talk about the technical specs of the coin. Although we commonly refer to this as a gold dollar, it is actually made from a copper core with manganese brass plating, giving it that golden appearance. Composition manganese brass 88.5% copper, 6% zinc, 3.5% manganese, 2% nickel. Weight 8.1 gram diameter 26.5 mm. Edge lettered features the inscription E pluribus unum, the mint mark, and the year of minting. These coins weigh 8.1 grams with a diameter of 26.5 millimeters. An interesting feature of this series is the lettered edge, which includes the year, mint mark, and the motto E pluribus unum. These coins were minted in Philadelphia and Denver with no mint mark for Philadelphia coins and a D mint mark for Denver coins. They were widely circulated when first released, but today they're mostly found in collections in special rolls or sets. 1779 to 1801, John Adams. Before we talk about the coin itself, let's take a quick look at the man featured on it, John Adams. John Adams served as the second president of the United States from 1797 to 1801. He played a crucial role in the American Revolution and helped draft the Declaration of Independence. Adams was a key figure in the early development of the U.S. government, shaping the nation in its formative years. His contributions as a statesman and his presidency are immortalized on this coin, paying homage to his legacy. Now let's talk about how the John Adams $1 coin came into existence. This coin is part of the U.S. Mint's presidential $1 coin program, which ran from 2007 to 2016. The program honored deceased U.S. presidents by releasing $1 coins featuring their portraits in the order they serve. John Adams, as the second president, was among the first to be honored in this series. With his coin being issued in 2007, let's dive into the design of this coin. And the obverse or front, you'll find a portrait of John Adams with his name inscribed along the top, as well as the dates of his presidency, 1797 to 1801. The text second president is also included, reminding us of his place in U.S. history. The reverse or back of the coin features the iconic image of the Statue of Liberty, which was used for all coins in the presidential $1 series. Beneath her, you'll find the denomination $1. The edges of these coins are unique as well. They feature edge lettering with the year of minting, the mint mark, and the phrase E Pluribus Unum. You might be wondering, is the John Adams $1 coin actually made of gold? The answer is no. While it's often referred to as the golden dollar due to its color, the coin is not made of solid gold. Instead, it's composed of a copper core with an outer layer of manganese brass, which gives it that shiny golden appearance. Now on to the part that everyone's curious about the value of the John Adams $1 coin. Like most coins, the value depends on its condition and rarity. Here's a breakdown. Circulated coins, these coins are common and have been used in daily transactions. If your coin has visible wear, it's likely worth around $1 its face value. Uncirculated coins, these coins are in mint condition, meaning they haven't been used. An uncirculated John Adams $1 coin can be worth around $2 to $3, depending on the quality. Proof coins, proof coins are specially made for collectors with higher quality finishes and sharper details. A John Adams proof coin, especially if it's graded high by a professional service like PCGS or NGC, could fetch between $5 to $10 or more. Overall, the John Adams $1 coin isn't extremely rare, but uncirculated or proof coins can hold a little more value for collectors. Now, if you're looking for something truly special, there are some known error coins from the presidential $1 coin series, including the John Adams coin. Some coins were released without edge lettering, making them highly collectible. These error coins can be worth up to $100 or more, depending on their condition. Keep an eye out for these rare variants in your collection. 
To wrap things up, the John Adams $1 coin is a great piece for collectors, especially those interested in U.S. history and the presidential $1 coin program. While most of these coins are worth their face value, certain uncirculated or error coins can fetch higher prices. Always make sure to check the condition and look for any unique details that could increase the coin's value. If you're just starting your collection, this coin is an affordable and interesting place to begin. And if you already have one in your collection, now you know the full history and value behind it. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more coin history and value breakdowns. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Let me know in the comments what coin you'd like to see featured next. Happy collecting and I'll see you next time.